Welcome to our channel everybody. Please watch my video till the end, it may benefit you in your future life. May Allah bless you with good health. The seeds of plants in the ginger family are the source of the fragrant spice known as cardamom. It pairs well with both savory and sweet foods thanks to its sweet and peppery flavor. There are two main types of cardamom green and black. Green cardamom is more common and has a milder flavor, while black cardamom is more smoky and pungent. The pods are spindle-shaped and have a triangular cross-section, and they come from the source of the spices, which are little, black seeds. Flavor and Aroma Cardamom is native to the Indian subcontinent and Indonesia, where it has been used for thousands of years as a spice and medicine and a ritual ingredient. The ancient Egyptians also chewed cardamom pods to freshen their breath and clean their teeth. And they also used it for embalming. But did you know that cardamom also has other amazing health benefits? Let's start by going over what happens to your body when you consume cardamom on a daily basis and how to include it in your diet. Number 1. It lowers your blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure you might want to try cardamom as a natural remedy. Cardamom has antioxidant and diuretic properties, which means it can help lower your blood pressure by removing excess water and salt from your body, and by protecting your blood vessels from oxidative damage. One study found that people who took 3 grams of cardamom powder a day for 12 weeks had significantly lower blood pressure levels than those who didn't. Another study found that cardamom extract increased urination and decreased blood pressure in rats. Number 2. It fights cancer. Cardamom contains phytochemicals that have anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. These compounds may help prevent or slow down the growth of cancer cells in your body. According to some studies, cardamom powder can increase the activity of certain enzymes that help fight cancer and enhance the ability of natural killer cells to attack tumors. One study also showed that a compound in cardamom stopped oral cancer cells from multiplying into tubes, but it doesn't hurt to add some cardamom to your diet as a preventive measure. Number 3. It treats digestive problems. Cardamom has been traditionally used to treat digestive disorders such as indigestion, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and flatulence. This is because it can stimulate the secretion of digestive enzymes and bile, which can help break down food and enhance nutrient. Absorption, it can also relax the muscles of the stomach and intestines, which can release spasms and cramps. Moreover, cardamom may protect the stomach lining from damage caused by alcohol, aspirin, or stress. A study in rats found that cardamom extract could prevent gastric ulcers by increasing the production of mucus and reducing the acidity of the stomach. Number 4. It improves your breathing. Cardamom has been used for centuries as a natural remedy for respiratory problems such as asthma, bronchitis, and colds. It works by relaxing the airways and improving the flow of oxygen to the lungs. Cardamom also has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties that can help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress in the respiratory system. One study found that cardamom oil was effective in reducing airway resistance and improving lung function in rats with asthma. Another study showed that cardamom extract could inhibit the contraction of smooth muscles in the trachea, which can cause coughing and wheezing. These studies suggest that cardamom may have a bronchodilator effect, meaning it can widen the air passages and make breathing easier. If this information is useful to you, please click the like button, subscribe channel, to receive my most recent advice on diet and health. Number 5. It helps with bad breath. One of the most common uses of cardamom is to freshen your breath. Cardamom has a strong and pleasant aroma that can mask any unpleasant odors in your. Cardamom also has antibacterial and antifungal properties, which means it can help kill bacteria that cause bad breath and dental cavities. A study done in 2009 found that chewing cardamom seeds for 5 minutes could significantly reduce the levels of bacteria in saliva. Another study done in 2011 found that rinsing with cardamom extract could reduce plaque formation and gingivitis. Some individuals enjoy drinking cardamom tea or chewing on whole cardamom pods after meals to maintain fresh breath. Number 6. It lowers inflammation in your body. 
Inflammation is a natural response of your body to fight off infections and injuries. However, chronic inflammation can lead to various diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, and cancer. One way to reduce inflammation is to eat foods that have anti-inflammatory properties such as cardamom. Cardamom contains phytochemicals that can inhibit the production of inflammatory molecules in your body. One study found that cardamom extract reduced the levels of inflammatory markers in rats with arthritis. Another study showed that cardamom oil had anti-inflammatory effects on human skin cells. Number 7. It lowers your blood sugar. High blood sugar can cause damage to your organs and increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Cardamom may help lower your blood sugar by improving your insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Insulin is a hormone that helps your cells absorb glucose from your blood. When your cells become resistant to insulin, your blood sugar rises. Cardamom can enhance your insulin sensitivity and help your cells use glucose more efficiently. One study found that cardamom powder improved insulin sensitivity and lowered blood sugar in people with metabolic syndrome. Another study showed that cardamom extract lowered blood sugar and increased insulin secretion in diabetic rats. Number 8. It protects your liver. Cardamom may help protect your liver from damage caused by toxins, drugs, or alcohol. This is because cardamom has antioxidant properties that can scavenge free radicals and prevent oxidative stress in your liver cells. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage your DNA and cell membranes. Oxidative stress on the other hand is a condition where there is an imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in your body. Cardamom can also affect the activity of certain enzymes that are involved in liver function and detoxification. One study found that cardamom oil prevented liver damage, induced by acetaminophen in mice which is a common painkiller. Another study showed that cardamom extract improved liver function and reduced liver fibrosis or scarring in rats with liver cirrhosis. So as you can see cardamom is a spice with many health benefits, but how can you add it to your diet? Well cardamom is a versatile spice that can be used in both sweet and savory dishes. You can use whole pods shelled seeds or ground powder depending on your preference and recipe. Here are some ideas for how to use cardamom in your cooking. To make rice a fragrant and tasty side dish, you can add whole or crushed pods. You can sprinkle ground cardamom over your oatmeal yogurt or fruit salad for a breakfast boost. Using cardamom pods in your tea or coffee is another option. Or you may use cardamom to make some cookies, cakes, or bread. In addition, you can take cardamom supplements after seeing a physician. Nevertheless, take caution not to eat too much cardamom. Due to the possibility of adverse effects like allergic reactions, some people get heartburn or migraines. For adults, a daily dosage of 1 to 1.5 grams of cardamom is advised. I thank you so much watching my video today, and as always, I wish you good health, prosperity, and happiness. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well.